Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here with Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be mixing things up a little bit, quite literally and figuratively, as we're venturing into the world of coffee cocktails. And we'll be making the one and only espresso martini. First, the original version of the popular drink, and then using a nitro coffee keg, like the two liter black stainless steel keg that has a premium stout style tap on it made from iKegger. And this will infuse the cocktail with those tiny nitrogen bubbles before pouring it out into the glass and hopefully give the cocktail more texture and sweetness and that familiar cascading effect as it settles down into the glass. Now everyone, including myself, will tell you that you need to use espresso brewed coffee to make espresso martinis. And they would be right. It is the best way to produce a very coffee forward flavored, basically anything. It is to use an espresso machine. As espresso is rich, it's intense, it usually puts flavors forwards like chocolate and nutty flavors, which works really great for this style of cocktail. But I did mention we were gonna mix things up and for good reason, because not everyone has an espresso machine available to them and that should not not put you off making one of the best drinks to start an evening. And right before we start this video, I need you to smash that like button as it does help with the YouTube algorithm and we'd really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get back into the video. So I've gone and used the Hario cold brew pot to make a cold brew coffee concentrate from 100 grams of ground coffee to 800 mils of water. But you can use pretty much any style of coffee brewer from the mocha pot to the AeroPress to the French press. I might not use pour over coffee as this does tend to be a little bit too weak. And as mentioned earlier, the stronger the coffee is, then the less you're gonna to have to make and use in the drink itself. So for a very, very, very basic no frills recipe of the classic espresso martini, I'm pouring a third vodka, a third Kahlua, and a third cold brew coffee into a shaker with ice, and then I'm gonna shake it up. Now, I've chosen not to use simple sugar syrup here, as I do enjoy my coffee without sugar generally, so that Kahlua, I'm hoping, adds enough sweetness in the cocktail here. So after a few moments, it's ready to pop and serve. Straining it out from the ice, And I'm going for a garnish of shaved chocolate on top. That's a personal touch, but there is an official amount of three coffee beans to an espresso martini. And there you have it, an espresso martini, or more correctly, a cold brew martini. Cheers. Ah, simple and delicious. Now, I'd be curious to see how different it will taste using a nitro coffee keg. So it is the same recipe and basically the same method as before. We're just gonna be placing it all into the keg instead of the shaker with a third vodka, a third Kahlua, and a third cold brew coffee. Obviously more volumes as the keg can hold up to two liters. Now the iKegger are a great product to be making nitro or carbonated drinks with quite a few variations in the sizes and the taps used. And I think they're the peak of the bunch for nitro cold brew and coffee if you're looking at making more than one or two standard drinks at a time. And they're certainly worth that investment and you'd pay them off after 10 standard drinks made. So if you wanna check out the Keg, you can from this link up above. So with all the ingredients in the keg and the tappers back on, add one or two of those nitro N2 bulbs to the keg, which is very easy to do. You wanna get the N2 and not the CO2 for this particular recipe to avoid making a fizzy cocktail. Now from here, we're just gonna to need to give the keg a little shake. It's kind of funny you still have to shake the cocktail up, but this movement helps incorporate the nitrogen gas into the liquid. But once it's done, a few more shakes, it's ready to pour. Let's see how it goes. That's a very different look to the original. That cascade of those bubbles all rising to the top just looks fantastic. And I'd probably let this settle for a bit and that'll create a nice foam at the top of the cocktail. From here, I'm just gonna add my personal favorite of a garnish of dark chocolate and then those three official coffee beans to finish it off. And the taste? Cheers. Oh wow, that's formidable. Yeah, that's superb. It's certainly much creamier than the original. That texture is like really smooth and those nitro bubbles make more of an enjoyable foam. Almost like drinking a cappuccino, I suppose. But I guess from a skilled bartender as well, you could probably get this without that nitro, but it definitely makes a lot less work. Able to pour five or six of these straight out of that tap. 
Yeah, that's good. Look, and well, on the one hand, you have caffeine, the world's most favorite stimulant. And on the other hand, you have alcohol. You put them together, I kind of feel like it should come with some sort of warning here. And if that's the case, then, well, drink responsibly and know your limits. And above all else, enjoy it. Don't be in a rush. I'd probably only drink about two of these myself before moving on to something a little bit more steady as you go, but that's fantastic. And that's making cold brew espresso martinis using the nitro eye kegger. If you have any questions on the eye kegger, then throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. If you have an espresso martini recipe that you swear by, then throw that in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I don't think I can do another take. <laughs>